Shalom Gereo, this is Tehillim29, back again, and this time I'm going to do another free in one of three individual comics and review each of them. I've already read through them, so first things first, let's start off with Cobra Kai. The Karate Kid Saga Continues. Alright, um, I just want to give a quick rating on the cover for this. 8 out of 10. And yes, it goes along with the story. The art inside, 7.5 out of 10. And the story, 8 out of 10. But let me give you a quick um, indication of what the story covers. Uh, we have the character here, of course, of Johnny Lawrence. Basically talking to his students and giving them a bit of a history about his past. And, of course, in the story we get names, locations. No need for a comic reference because this is the first comic in the series. Uh, good indication of cast of characters and it begins to build things up towards the first or well, Johnny Lawrence's encounter with Daniel which will go into the karate tournament nothing more nothing less I will admit, um, the writers here did a really good job in delivering the story and they really took the time to make sure that you knew where you were when you were reading the story. A big thumbs up to my LCS and a big thumbs up to, um, IDW. I look forward to the upcoming issues. Well, with Cobra Kai out of the way, let's move on to Spawn issue 301. And damn, does this get good. Where last issue, we met a she spawn. <laughs> oh, this issue, we get a little bit more than a she spawn. We do get a comic reference, not so much location, but we do see the appearance of Sir Al Simmons. Uh, this cover, yes, he's certainly earned it for his record breaking. 8 out of 10. Story, 8 out of 10. Art, 8 out of 10. Quick synopsis. We basically catch up with Al Simmons, to which his timer runs out, and then all of a sudden, big things start to happen around the world in regards to his powers and what, what happens. It moves forward about 10 days later where government turns up on the scene to where he actually fought or went up against the clown, of course, <laughs> and other villains. And then he meets a new adversary. It is getting interesting, and I certainly want to pick up the trades that I have missing in this collection of Spawn. Last but not last but not least, the Joker in the Year of the Villain one shot. Oh, this was good. I enjoyed this. Um, 
the way that this is being set within the Joker, it's dealing with things around the city of Bane, and John Carpenter here has actually delivered a really good story. In fact, I'd say his story is well better delivered than what Tom King has been delivering within Batman, and I have not picked up a Batman issue since, I don't know, after issue 50? In it, you see the Joker go around with basically his own Robin. And we learn more about that character's background over, say, the Joker's background. Which is really good. I enjoyed that. The art is pretty good. I enjoyed the art, the scenes. It did bring off the dark um, impressions to which the Joker does do in his delivery and storytelling. But you also encounter some other villains within the story. Uh, the Condiment King being one. Enchantress being another. Absolutely incredible. So for the cover, it suits the suits the Joker's personality. <laughs> Nine out of ten. The art, eight point five out of ten. And the story. 8.5 out of 10. Big thanks to my LCS. And remember, let's keep it colourful. And by the way, I do have plans on seeing the Joker movie on the weekend. Uh, if you'd be interested in seeing me do a YouTube review on that, uh, let me know in the comments, because I can't read your minds. And thank goodness for that. I probably wouldn't want to read them. <laughs> but if not, I'll probably end up getting or cover the Joker movie review on the main website itself. If there's no indication at all from the subscribers or anyone else who listens to the channel and remember let's keep it colorful <laughs>